The truth is, we've all done this. We've all reacted slightly too strongly on a Friday afternoon and had our weekend spoilt worrying about how we could have dealt with Chantel differently. Chantel's looking for a way out. She's come into the lesson, but clearly her thoughts are elsewhere. If you give her that excuse, she will go. OK, that's enough, Chantel. Give me the phone and take your coat off now. Remember, your behaviour really is the only behaviour that you have absolute control over. And you need to use that to your best advantage. The physical intervention, it's too close. It's too sudden. Her personal space is all around her, and yet you come in, touch the coat, force her to shrug you off, and almost push your way in between the two students. It's become public. You now have an audience. And of course, that's an issue because the learning of the rest of the class is starting to be affected, but it's also a real issue because her dignity is at stake. And your dignity is at stake too. Are you listening to me, Chantel? The straw that breaks the camel's back with Chantel is the label that you give her. It's the assumption that this behaviour today is just a symptom of all the behaviours that she's been showing you over the last few weeks, and it's not going to help. Try and focus on the behaviour that you observe today. Why do we have to have the same discussion every single day, Chantel? Because comparing it to other behaviours that have gone before leads Chantel to think you have no belief in her. It reaffirms her own poor self-esteem and she uses it as a springboard to storm out of the room. If you find yourself thinking about your own actions and thinking you may have helped to provoke that confrontation, even though it wasn't your fault in the first place, then the right thing to do is to find Chantelle, to sit her down, to redraw the boundary lines, to re-establish what's going to happen in the next lesson, and to rebuild the trust that's clearly been broken. Leave her to stew, and you're going to make things worse and perpetuate this poor pattern of behaviour that she's got herself into.